What a time to be alive, baby. Great job, Ed. How are you? I'm living the dream. Nice to meet you, Lisa. Oh, you, you can't put in any more pressure than I put on myself. I promise you that. I've, uh, that's just the, the heart of a competitor. Um, but uh, she's definitely brought a lot of new faces to the game, and uh, it's been fun to experience that. She seems to be enjoying the games. She's uh, she's a part of Chiefs Kingdom right now. It's uh, it's fun uh, seeing her enjoy the game of football, knowing that it's kind of new to her life. And lastly, does she have a I'll have to ask. Thank you very much. Um, you know, there's a certain uh, tier of teams in the NFL that have gone back to back. And, you know, it's uh, I've been on a mission ever since I won my first Super Bowl. Uh, we, we made it back to, to the Super Bowl the year after 2019, obviously lost to the, uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, that's motivated me to get back to this point right here. So um, you'll hear me say this a lot, but I want this one more than I've ever wanted a, a Super Bowl in my life. And it's because uh, the type of team we have, the people that we have in this thing, but also because that tier of uh, teams that have done it twice have uh, gone down in history as uh, some of the greats. She's, uh, she's unbelievable. She's, uh, she's rewriting the history books herself. Uh, I told her I'll have to hold up my end of the bargain and come home with some hardware too. I mean, I, I don't know if I brought too much to the game. I think I, I just go out there and have fun. You know, um, Taylor has an unbelievable fan base that, uh, that follows her and supports her throughout her life. And uh, it's been fun to kind of gather the Swifties in the Chiefs kingdom and uh, open them up to uh, the, the football world and the sports world. And it's been cool to just experience all that. Um, I have heard some of it, yes, and it is unbelievable. I can't wait for uh, her to shake up the world when it finally drops. Oh, I can't give you anything. My, I leave, I leave, I leave that up to her. I appreciate that. That uh, that means a lot. You know, I think um, one of the most beautiful things about the Super Bowl is that you get to showcase your family and friends and your loved ones and. It's, uh, it's just been an amazing uh, amazing journey up to this point. Um, it's been awesome, you know, even last year to see everybody accept my family and, um, and appreciate my family dynamic. And it's just been, uh, it's been a beautiful ride. And uh, you know what, I couldn't be more proud to represent uh, the Kelsey household uh, this year in the Super Bowl. Thank you. Yay, what's up? What's up, big guy? Love that jersey, man. Yeah. Okay. Getting hit by in the NFL, Derwin James, man, he uh, he power bombed me one time on the goal line. I, I, uh, I always second guess myself when I see him in front of me. That was a, that was a good question, dude. Nice to meet you. You're the best, right? You already know. Congrats on a good year too, big guy. You already know. You know what? That's uh, that's a question for Jason. Um, I I was just a. I was every bit as surprised uh, after that Buffalo game as I think everybody was when the camera panned to him. Um, it's just who he is. He enjoys the game of football. He's, at, I think the the desire and the, the love that we have for this game uh, since we were kids, um, it oozes out of us, and we can't help that. And sure enough, um, with an unbelievable fan base like Buffalo uh, and going up there, I think it was a, it was a, it was a fun experience. I don't know if uh, the Vegas crowd is going to make him want to take his shirt off, though. Oh, I was, I was fortunate. We uh, we landed in uh, Las Vegas just in time for me to turn it on on my phone and uh, catch her winning her 13th award, announcing her new album, and then uh, obviously the big one at the end, the album of the year for the fourth time, setting setting records. It was pretty amazing. Uh, I haven't. She had to jump right on a plane, so it's been crazy.
Ooh. Ah, I hate when that happens. <laughs> you're my guy i appreciate you getting here baby i'll make it worth your while i promise oh yeah you can get a lot you can get some Neither. I'm not a blue cheese or a ranch kind of guy. My Super Bowl what? The wangs, baby. You just got to go with some good wangs. It's wangs and pizza. Pizza party for life. My Super Bowl era. Man. Um, that's a great question, man. I don't know. I don't know. I guess uh, just she has a uh, she has an amazing love for life. So just uh, making sure that I check my ego at the door and and bring the right energy every single day. <laughs> okay. What's, the, what's, the, what's so ladylike about those? Those are, those are some good, solid glasses. As long as it's helping him see, that's all that matters. The Joker. I mean, she's been known to dabble in the rap world. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll, I'll make sure. I'll, I'll see if uh, if Joker's up for it or not. Man, I'll tell you what, I idolized those guys for, uh, for a good part of my career. And um, I have the utmost respect for both of them. And every single time I faced them when it was, the game was on the line, you know, those guys showed up. So um, taking that bit of their game, you know, being ready for the big moments and, you know, being ready for, uh, for you know, the biggest challenges of, of your uh, career, um, that's what I take away from them. And I just got all the respect in the world. And it's uh, definitely an honor to be in talks with those guys. That's a good one. Um, right now, I'd probably say anti anti hero just because I hear it every single day. I see. She 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 is absolutely the number one fan right now, and I I absolutely you know I love having her at every single game that she can make. Um, and we'll see. I, I don't plan anything after Super Bowl. My, my focus is on trying to win this game. Everything afterwards is just fall in place. They tend, to, they tend to roll out the red carpet for you if you win the Super Bowl, so I don't think you got to plan this party. Thank you very much. You already know. Oh, yeah, the Eagles, baby. Are they really? Congratulations. Hell, yeah. I gotta wear my jersey loud and proud, man. Oh yeah. If you if you promise it, I'll sign it. Thank you, sir. You got a marker? Say it again. Man, I'll tell you what, I'm always thinking about what's next. And uh, that's always a question that, uh, that you get when you're later in your career and you start to fall off. So thanks for telling me that I'm not as good as I once was. Um, but I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's something that you got to think about. And uh, I, I think I come into this, this building and these, 
these arenas, and uh, I come in and I've, I've worked my tail off with these guys, and I have so much love for this game. I, don't, I can't imagine uh, not doing this for uh, as long as I can because I know I'll miss it when, I, when it's all said and done. So I can't put a time stamp on how, how long I'll play, but um, I know I'm loving every single bit of coming into work right now. All love in the world. We appreciate you guys big time. Um, well, I think uh, the, the beautiful thing about the Super Bowl is that you can't get into your regular routines. Uh, I know today flew by. Uh, we were on a bus just about what felt like half of the day getting ready for practice and getting ready to come up here. And it's just um, you can never uh, – you can never gauge it or guess exactly what's going to be going on out here at the Super Bowl. It's always kind of a wild card situation. So um, trying to just make sure you, uh, you stay focused while you're in the building and just make sure that you're doing the things you got to do to get ready for the game. Say it again. I mean, I'm about as level-headed as, as it gets right now. I don't, I don't think I need to really focus on that part. It's just uh, making sure that I put in the time uh, with, the, with the guys out there on the field and uh, making sure I'm ready for the opportunity. Who would be my all-time ever? Um, I mean, I would say you can't go wrong with a guy like George Kittle or uh, Sam Laporta. Those, those Iowa Hawkeyes, man, they're producing tight ends left and right. Um, favorite thing to do while I'm in Vegas is probably hit the roulette tables. Um, um, I'm, more, I'm more of a number guy. I like both black and red. What's up, Matt? <laughs> you can't get used to this, man. Uh, I would say the that's the excitement of it. You know, that's the that's the blessing of it. Is you get to you get to be a part of something that you that's a once in a lifetime experience. And um, I think the we've been extremely fortunate to you know experience this a few more times than just once. But it's uh, it's never the same, and you just got to appreciate exactly what it is. And it's uh, it's nothing but chaos. <laughs> Um, I don't know, man. It was a special. Uh, it was a special game for me last year, being on the field with my brother. But uh, if last year was the Kelsey Bowl, this one's the uh, tight end U Bowl. I'm still playing against one of my brothers and George Kittle. Oh no, no. Oh no. That one's that. See, that's way prettier. I got the face mask. I got the. Do, do I want it? No, no. That's all you. That's all you. I'll try and make that thing worth something one day. I'll tell you what, man, I'm not thinking about anything but this football game. There's nothing, there's nothing in my mind that's happening until this football game is over with. <laughs> Carrot Top himself. What's up, baby? I'm living the dream, man. Just one? I'll have to, I'll have to, I'll have to see. I'll have to see. I'll have to have somebody vouch that they can't, they can't go, and then you got in. You're the best, man. <laughs> Just representing, baby. Just representing. Um, seeing everybody appreciate my brother, seeing uh, how talented he is. Um, you know, as an offensive lineman, you don't get that opportunity very much. Um, and I think, uh, you know, not outside of just our family dynamic and being able to showcase our brotherhood and um, going into it, everyone thought we were polar opposites. Well, we knew that once you saw us in the same room, you'd realize we're brothers. So there's that aspect, the ability to just show off uh, my family and um, seeing his career and his, uh, his personality kind of take, uh, take a different trip. And it's been, uh, it's been amazing to see and awesome to see everybody uh, fall in love with him. Man, I just get fired up for the next opportunity. To be honest, I'm a I'm a challenge-driven individual. Man, I love a good challenge. I love the uh, the biggest and the best challenges uh, out there. And I, I 
I'm going to get that this Sunday. And it's going to be an awesome, awesome experience to, to try and go out there and beat the 49ers with this team, uh, knowing everything that we've been through, man. How do I relax? Um, put my feet up, maybe watch some, uh, watch some music videos, uh, watch some TV shows. I don't know, just uh, typical stuff, nothing out of the blue. If we win, I got you. If we win, I got you. It's, it's only if we win, though. Come on, baby. You already know. You just got to check it out, baby. Rewind it. I mean, everybody's been talking about the script for years, man. Who knows? Who knows what the script really is? I know that uh, that we uh, we we kind of beat the odds uh, from where we were at a, a certain point in the season, especially going into the playoffs. And I'm just proud as hell of this group, man. I've been to a Vegas wedding. Vegas weddings are out of control. Absolutely insane. I don't know if I'll ever have a Vegas wedding. I could care less about fantasy football. If you want to get into it, it's all you.